Okay, hello everyone. We want to look at how to show that the relationship here does dot product of two vectors. How do we show that uh, this formula is true? So to prove this, all we need to do is uh, you know to find two vectors that have uh, an angle an angle theta. So let's call this vector u. And let's call this vector v okay so if uh, this is true you recall that the addition of these two vectors is going to be the vector moving from one end to the other okay so if this is u and this is v then it means that uh, the addition of these two is simply going to be you remember that this is supposed to go this is the direction of this so this is supposed to go from this direction and then continues to this. That's what we said about resultant of vectors, the addition of two vectors. This has to start from here to this end and then continue for it to add up to this. So assuming we call here W, and now the vector that will now move in opposite direction of U is going to be minus U. So what it means is that our w is actually equal to minus u plus v which we can as well write as v minus u okay so and we okay meanwhile the angle between u and v is theta and we recall that by cosine rule we have that uh, by cosine rule that if you have a triangle like this let's say triangle abc then uh, and there is an angle here we are told that a squared is equal to b squared minus sorry plus c squared minus 2 bc cos the angle facing a which is theta so if we apply that here so we're going to have that uh, the square of w is equal to the square of u plus the square of v minus 2 times u v cos theta now we of course we have seen here that uh, w is this so we can make that substitution so v minus u all squared is equal to the square of u <coughs> plus the square of v minus um, u v cos theta okay now i want to make this the subject of the formula that means i want to take the whole of this to the left hand side and then i'll bring the other one to this side and that's going if it comes over it will be positive that's 2 u v cos theta is equal to u squared plus v squared minus v minus u squared okay now we recall that if we expand this u minus v this is the same thing as the uh, v minus u dot product of v minus u you remember we said earlier that uh, when you take the dot product of a vector by itself you will just get the square of its magnitude okay so and that's why we have this when you take the dot product of uh, v by itself it will give you the magnitude of v squared and then if you take the dot product of v and u you get uh, minus u dot v okay and then when you do this you also get uh, minus u dot v and then minus u times uh, dot minus u is going to be plus magnitude of u squared okay and so this is going to be equal to the magnitude of v squared then minus 2u dot v and then this is plus magnitude of u squared okay so we want to now substitute this into this uh, equation now so we are going to have two magnitude of v 
plus magnitude of v square then minus the minus is going to act on all of this this place so minus on this will be minus magnitude of v squared minus on this will be plus 2 u dot v and minus on this will be minus magnitude of u squared and of course here now you can see some things can go away the magnitude of u will take away the magnitude of u magnitude of v will take away the magnitude of v squared and so what we will have left is uh, 2 u v cos theta is equal to we have only 2 u dot v left and on these two sides you have 2 and so 2 can cancel out 2 therefore your u dot v is equal to the magnitude of v u times the magnitude of v cos theta and that is as uh, required okay so and that's how to, uh, this formula was gotten for the dot product of two vectors and that's where we we'll end the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll see you in our next video bye